So you don't just pick up on the emotions, but you can also either mirror them or pick them up or acknowledge them with your body, with your words. So you're you're really connecting with someone, but without putting anything of yourself in, without offering your thoughts or your advice or your interpretations, you really just pick up on what you're, what you're hearing and what you're perceiving, what you're sensing. And then you start listening to what's on the periphery of what somebody is saying. What's between the lines? What's the ineffable, the, the things you can't quite put in words, but there's something there. You're picking up a sense or a vibe or an atmosphere or something, you know, that is happening beyond words. And so when you start listening like this, you're engaging your whole body, you're engaging your whole being, you're really connecting with someone, but without you pushing or influencing or directing or guiding the conversation. You're just there and you're with you, the person who is speaking to you. And even when they're not speaking, you're listening. So when somebody's still thinking, they might not say something, but as you're holding space for them while they think, it's a form of listening also. And some of the most profound wisdom comes from people when you hold that sort of silence, when you hold that space, you're not putting yourself in, you're not wanting to direct or guide, you're staying open with whatever emerges from that person. You